In tonight's Send the Love, a true love story about a Valley couple who got married, but it's where they had the ceremony that captured so many hearts, especially for their grandfather. They say a picture is worth a thousand words, and in this case, words aren't enough. The feelings speak volumes. I don't have any regrets. Jennifer Kane had already been through so much. Her stepmom had a heart attack last November. Two months later, doctors diagnosed her with breast cancer. Then the golf club Jennifer and her fiance Paul had planned to get married at canceled the wedding because of COVID-19 restrictions. I talked to my stepmom and she was like, well, I'm sure we can find a new place because like um, grandpa's been waiting for this moment. He wants to see this happen and everything. And I was like, well, they have a courtyard that his window looks out onto. Like, why don't we just do it there? And she was like, well, let me call Esther and see if that's even possible. Esther DiCamillo is the executive director at Morningstar at Arrowhead, an assisted living and memory care facility where Jennifer's grandpa, Jimmy, was staying. I was surprised because last year she was getting married in Chandler. And uh, then all of a sudden she was getting married out here. So on March 23rd, they put the bride and groom right over by my window. She touched and I touched. Because his little arms couldn't reach. He was trying so hard, which then made me cry even more because he's like trying to get to the window. And I'm like, it's okay, just do what you can. <laughs> It was absolutely beautiful. I would say one of the best weddings I've seen, just because it was it was all about love. It was all about coming together. Um, these are dark times, and this was just a light. Although it wasn't the wedding Jennifer planned, it was a wedding that was still perfect. It made my day. Exactly how it was supposed to be. <laughs> A big congratulations to the newlyweds. And talking about sending more love, their florist Janice from Blooming Bouquets in Glendale didn't even charge them anything for the centerpieces.